We are here at Vino Prato. I'm gonna be completely honest. This afternoon uh, I already was at Vino Prato to collect all the coastal credits. And I'm here for the second time. But this afternoon it was so hot, I literally didn't feel like making a video. And I wanted to come back in the evening when it's a little bit more busy, when the coasters have warmed up and when the whole place is just so much more lively. So that's why I'm here right now. So, uh, Volare is the Samperla Volare. Definitely the worst coaster I have ridden so far. You know, I enjoyed the Vekoma SLC Blue Tornado at Gardalon, but this one, even I don't like this one. It's, it hurts just so bad. And like, I, I, I get, like, the layout was really, really good, but the execution with those trains it's just not good um, I'm not surprised that even some Perla is not proud of this one <laughs> Right Engineer Switzerland Rollerball. I don't know what the exact name is. I'll throw it up on screen. <laughs> uh, this was so much fun, and I did not expect it to be this much fun. Like, Right Engineer Switzerland hit a jackpot with these. These are so good. Thumbs up from me. Right Engineer Switzerland is making us Swiss people proud. So Gesenkte Sau back here is a Gerslauer bobsled coaster and Gerslauer just knows how just to build a coaster that is not too thrilling but still fun for no reason and this is a master class on how you build a coaster that is just fun and for everyone this is awesome like really really good this is Gerslauer once again proved why they are a elite manufacturer, I'm gonna say it's just. So this wild mouse, um, I think it's by Mauro uh, Rides, uh, is, a, is a little bit of a painful wild mouse. Uh, at least I thought it was kind of uncomfortable, but it was also really, really good. It had legit floater airtime, like sustain. That was awesome, but also, yeah, still kind of uncomfortable. So, here we have a Vekoma boomerang, but not a regular Vekoma boomerang. It's one with lap bars. And this one was not open yet when I went this afternoon. So, this is still the credit that I need to obtain. So I'm gonna do that now. Impending doom or big surprise? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go here. Okay, so um, I'm confused. I'm gonna stop pointing at it. Why is this actually smooth? Why, why is this Vekoma boomerang actually enjoyable? The lap bars help a lot to not headbang you, to reduce pain. 
but it's also very smooth like the transitions are from the corkscrews into the half loops on the cobra roll literally only had a minimal jolt like it was actually smooth and I would actually ride that over and over again Makeup Lids is a Vekoma MK700 and this is my 100th coaster count um, and it was a worthy 700th coaster. Like this is a great Vekoma coaster. Uh, it had like it's super smooth and super intense. Uh, these three helix helices on the right are so intense. I did two rides so far and on both of my rides I grayed out at least once and it's just so good. So, Masquerade is an extremely small Gerstlauer spinner but this shows that you don't need height to make a good ride. Like it's not mind-blowing or all, it's not elite. But it's still a good fun ride. It does what it can. Really, really solid spinning coaster. I also got a solid spin by riding solo on this thing, so that is cool. All right, next up is this thing. After I get something to drink. It's good, but not maximum too good. So for this and last summer, Vino Prato rented out Olympia Looping. And so I came here expecting that Olympia Looping is here. And well, it's here all right. I did it once, it hurt. I don't know why I'm doing it again. I just want to make sure. Let's say that. Help me. So if I'm not wrong, and fact check me on this, uh, future me. Uh, this is actually the oldest ferris wheel that still exists. So, after riding the iconic Vino uh, Riesenrad, Vienna Ferris wheel, I'm ending the vlog here. So, uh, it's the next day and I'm here again, just because I have some uh, tickets from yesterday for some of the rides here. Um, I was around looking at stuff in Vienna today but for the evening I decided to come back here and write some stuff again. Another reason why I'm back here at Vino Prato is uh, to write some rides that I had uh, that I did not have the chance to write yesterday such as this uh, swing and uh, this had a pretty long line yesterday and um, for me it wasn't worth it to ride the, or wait for this ride and I just rode it without waiting and it definitely is, yeah, it's, it's unnecessary. This ride is kind of dumb.
it it just flips unnaturally as you just saw behind me it doesn't feel it, it doesn't make a lot of sense it's Imagine you ride a Vekoma boomerang voluntarily multiple times. Well, this one is actually so good because it has lap bars and it's smooth. So yeah, I have no problem with that. And this time I'm going to the back row. I've done the Vekoma boomerang again, this time in the back row. So you still definitely feel some jolts from the old Vekoma track uh, profiling and fabrication, like it's not the best. You feel the jolts, but they don't hurt because, uh, surprise, you have a lap bar and that makes it bearable. So um, I've just done the SNS space shot. Probably the best one that I've done so far out of the three. Uh, really nice, but it still isn't as good as Mystery Castle. Uh, the launch on Mystery Castle is just so much better. Uh, I like it's it's more intense uh, in my or. From what I remember, but uh, yeah, SNS space shots are nice too, so I uh, can't complain. Anyways, uh, Vino Prato uh, is a really cool place, uh, really neat how it's right in the city center, easily reachable by the uh, subway system here. Uh, some really cool rides, decent roller coasters, also some bad coasters, and some good flat rides as well so yeah this is definitely worth a visit for a couple of hours but definitely not a full day visit so uh, yeah and with that I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you all for watching Swiss coaster enthusiast out